Hi guys, it's Nigel Lock and Key the Penn Estate Agents and I hope you're all well. Today we're down in Little John Avenue and just there behind me is that nice white double fronted mature property and it's pretty unique guys actually because of the space it has inside outside and at the back there but let me just briefly explain what what you've got when you go in there you've got a nice hallway it splits off to a dual aspect sitting room on the right doors opening up to a lovely garden come left out of that inner hallway and you go into the dining room then that opens up into an l-shaped kitchen there's then a nice rear utility porch, boot room, and also another inner lobby with another door that gives you access to the front. Upstairs, naturally, there are three bedrooms. There's a bathroom. And from one of the bedrooms, which is quite unique, there's also a decent loft room uh, with stairs going up there. So there's a bit more to it. Yes, it's double glaze. Yes, it's gas. And the other thing is, guys, this has no chain. It's not gonna be on the property for long. Um, it's on the northern side of Melksham. It's got a very, very nice garden with it, guys, and ample parking. So with all my tours, you know how they work, I'm going to flip the camera around. We're just going to talk about the amenities, we're just going to talk about the location. Once we've done that, we've had a good look around outside, we'll head on in and explore 44 Little John Avenue. And here we go guys, and I mentioned uh, before a nice double fronted property. There is an inner door there that then links to that L-shaped kitchen that I mentioned. And there's also that door with a porch with a new roof actually that's been re-roofed uh, recently. That will then take you into that hallway. You can see parking, parking, parking where my car's, let's say three, even if we said two cars but you know, there's plenty of parking with this property. Now, obviously Little John Avenue is on the northern side. There's some countryside walks and a park there if you carry on further down that road. And if I just turn the camera around because it's got various cul-de-sacs down here, if you just follow the road back outside, that will then take you into Forest Road. There's a convenience store there. And if you wanted to walk further up back into the town, for me, I would say it would take me anywhere between, let's say 10, 15 minutes, I'm quite a fit lad. But even if so, and you wanted a leisurely stroll, no more than 20 minutes, I wouldn't imagine. Yes, there's access to schools. And if you come back out of there and turn left, that will then take you into Woodrow Road. And then that will lead you another two miles down Woodrow Road to the beautiful, beautiful National Trust village of Laycock. And actually that will then link back into the A350. So where Bean Acre is, that will take you to Laycock and you get to Chippenham quite comfortably there as well, guys. So look, you know, that that's the amenities close by. Um, I'd love just to show you what this property's got because it's, it's full of surprises. So what we should do, head on that way and explore 44 Little John Avenue. So here we go as we walk in and just to just recap you've got a nice bay window there parking 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 i always like to show off the parking on any property um as we come up to this porch just want to know you can see there's some new, new tiles there this has been re-roofed that front porch so again it all adds up and mounts up to the little bits of work that has been done on the property entrance door double glaze little step up let's head on in and explore And what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to close this door and pan the camera around just so you can see where we came in from. Door, hallway, little radiator there. And then come back on ourselves. You see there's a dining room in there. But first, I'm going to just take a look right. And here we go, guys. Straight into this dual aspect sitting room. And of course here we have plenty of room for sofa, sofa. And I mentioned those sliding doors. That garden is absolutely stunning. And we'll have a little look, about, a look at that later. Obviously there's a feature fireplace there. A little fire. I think that's a coal effect fire. It's not coal obviously, it's gas. Look at that garden. And beyond that garden it goes beyond again and then again. So it is a very, very nice little treat out there, which I'll show you later. So turning the camera around, you obviously can see that it's a dual aspect room and actually there's a nice windowsill there and there's a curved bay window radiator that runs alongside it. But plenty of space, guys, in this room. And if I get a little bit closer to that window, you can see what I mean about that curve, just as it curves around. Quite attractive, actually. And that just links out to that front again. Turn the camera around. Gives you a nice idea of exactly the space 
with this property. And this is what these tours are about. We get a lot of compliments about our video tours and my video tours. Um, I'm here just to demonstrate the possibilities of my client's home. And that's important because you get to know the information as buyers and I'll provide as much as I can. So, you know, I hope you enjoy the tours as much as we do. So as we come back out of the sitting room, obviously you can see that we came through this in a hallway. Of course, there's stairs and we'll have a look later. They go up to that first floor. There is a little radiator there just by that door that I didn't point out earlier. A little recessed area going in. Door coming in. Look at this, it just opens up into another reception room, which I think is brilliant. Just to the left, the radiator runs alongside. And of course you can see there's a nice picture. Double glazed window, pop the camera out. Look at that parking, fabulous. Tick, tick, tick. And these are older guys. I'm not sure when these were built. They could have been built, let's say, 1950s. Um, they're privately owned, but they just give you that element of space. Of course, you can come and see this, this space for what it is now as I come through here. I'm just going to turn that camera around because I think this angle is quite important as well. But plenty of room. And it's great because obviously with, with properties now, you want a bit more space with COVID and homeschooling or working from home. The extra reception rooms are perfect. And just remember guys, there's that loft room that uh, splits in both areas up there as well, which I, I can't wait to show you. So that's the dining room. Bring the camera back around. As you can see, there's an opening there. And this will just take us into the kitchen. It's a unique shaped kitchen. It looks galleyed, but it's not. You can see some tiled flooring down there. Very attractive. And of course, kitchen self-explanatory, base units, eye level cupboards double glazed window, there's your sink. And of course you can see a dishwasher and there's a wash machine there. And just as I pop my camera through that way, there's a nice Valiant boiler for you guys. Perfect. Little pantry cupboard that just takes you under the stairs. I'm not gonna open that up for you. We all know what a pantry cupboard looks like. Come back on myself and then you can see, let me just pop that in again. That's a little, another aspect of that garden. So it's great. You know, you've got pleasant aspects with it. And then as I walk along, you can just see how this splits off. You've got this lovely range style cooker, extractor hood, units, base units, well equipped. And pretty decent in my opinion. Little area there, you can see a fridge freezer, that's for storage for white goods. If you want to put your booze or your dogs coming through this way or whatever, mother-in-law, father-in-law, <laughs> leave them here. Um, but all joking aside, there's another entrance. Kids, you know, take your shoes off. Little boot area there, absolutely brilliant. Come back out on yourself, look guys, and look what we've got here. You come through here. Another little extension there, guys. Double glazed, double glazed. There's a roller blind there, that's double glazed, and there's a radiator just under this table, look. But perfect. So again, another area for storage. You're gonna notice that garden's got loads of little cute seating areas, bits and pieces. And I like this little boot room because there's a little sink there, hand, wash, towel. Brilliant, really clever. And I even like the little shutters with a little design there for that where that window used to be. So pretty clever indeed. So look guys, that's the ground floor done. I'm just gonna recap, all right? Because it's always quite important to do that. This is your porch. Put your stuff in the back there, open up the doors, animals, kids run out there. Don't bother me for 20 minutes. Nice kitchen. <laughs> Obviously it's an L-shaped kitchen. Just turn this around just so I can quickly squeeze through this way and that way so you can see it's an L-shaped and then you've got another entrance door to that front. Through to the dining room, lovely big size. This is where you would do your dinner behind me, sit the kids down here or yourselves and entertain. Come through that front door, stairs up through there, and then you come through here, guys. And here's that dual aspect sitting room that we spoke about earlier. So that's it for the ground floor, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. Let's head on upstairs, look at the bathroom, look at those three bedrooms, and also that additional loft room. And here we go. So we, as we come from that entrance door, you've got the two rooms that split off. Let's make our way upstairs. And there you can see a nice picture window that brings in that light radiator there. Now as I just stand here, I'll just show you there is an access to loft space there. Pop the 
camera out and now you can start to see that size of that rear garden and what's beyond there. All right, so there's a lot more to it. Bring the camera around here. I just want to explain as we come up through those stairs, it actually splits. So there's a bedroom there, bedroom behind me, bedroom in there, and that's the bathroom. So while we're looking ahead, let's take a look into this bathroom. Corner bath, low level WC. Obviously there's your double glazed obscure window blinds. Sorry, a little bit of tiling there. And if I just close this door, you can then see, it's a bit dated. You can see there's a shower cubicle there, pedestal wash and basin and some half tile walling there. So look, the property will be in dated in places, but it's very clean, it's very tidy, it's very spacious, guys. And I'm sure anybody with uh, as much imagination as the people that are looking at these videos will know exactly what to do with this property. The housing market is very fluid. We know, I mean, lock and key, we are the busiest agent in Melchior, but we always have been, and we're working extremely hard for our clients. But these properties do not take long to sell. And they're getting strong money. So I do urge anybody that is interested, please give me a nudge straight away. I don't want you to miss out. And we're trying to get as many people in to see these properties as possible, because I know it's frustrating not to see them. So that's the bathroom behind me. I'm just gonna go straight ahead again. And then we're gonna go into one of these bedrooms. I don't ever number them. It's just a bedroom, single bed there. Obviously a double glazed window, laminate or wood effect flooring, radiator. Let's just pop that back out there. Just so you can see that rear. And you can see other neighboring gardens as well. They all seem to be well tended, well looked after. Quite important, but it's always just nice to see. And obviously you can see that's that extension that we were down in yesterday, having a little look around. Another thing that I haven't mentioned, I'm gonna mention it now as I come out of this uh, first bedroom, is that there is no chain. It's a big selling point, guys. If you're interested, no chain, all right? Come into one of the other bedrooms. This looked like this would have been the, the master bedroom originally, double glazed window, plenty of, plenty of room in here, as you can see. These owners are brilliant, they foster. Um, these two foster children live with them. Absolutely generous heart. Um, they bought this property off me years ago and it's just lovely to see them again. Pop the camera back out and there you can see parking for three at least anyway, but let's just say three makes it nice and easy, that number. It's a really good size room this guys. Just come back out one more time so I can give you all the, the angles that you need to see when we're looking at the properties being marketed by me. So that's the second bedroom. And of course, we're gonna just go back out there because that's the third bedroom. And I've left that last on purpose. You come through here, it does look busy. There's still bits in here. We've got to clear the property out. Ignore that, it's still lived in. Double glazed window again. And now you can see some stairs and you'll know from what I said earlier about those stairs and about that loft space. So there's your double glazed window. Before I go upstairs, just wanna show you that this room is definitely big enough, freestanding, you can actually put a double bed in here quite comfortably. And while we're here, let's not start, stop the transition for the video, let's make our way up. Now you need to be a bit of a hobbit because you can see there's a recessed area there. I've opened up those Velux windows. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. So I'm not the tallest of guys. I'm not the shortest of guys being five foot nine, not the greatest height, but you can see there's a door there. So as we go through that door and I come up, I'm gonna go this way first because they got a little cool games room. Puts a seat there, kid, whatever. Mess about, a little bed. You know, if you want to just have a nap or whatever, they don't use it as a bedroom, it's just a playroom. So this is part of the loft room, which they've blocked off with that door. And then in here, another little office area. So look, it's a usable room, guys. It's not a bedroom, there's stairs, you could have an office, you can have a games room in there for your children. So it is bigger than what you would think from the front of the property. So that's the upstairs done. Just to recap, it splits off the landing, three bedrooms, bathroom on that level, come up on these stairs, and you've got that room, that room, into this loft room that we have. 
So the last thing we need to do is go out into that rear garden, really dying to go out into that rear garden and show off the garden. And there's a little extra surprise as well for somebody. So with the rear garden, guys, I'm gonna walk through the sitting room. I could have gone through that other rear porch, boot room, whatever. Pop the camera out and here we have something to have a look from behind here. So there's a graveled area, guys. There's that pitch again, there's that room that we spoke about and the little pedestal wash and basin in there. I called it a boot room, you can call it anything you want. And I'm just gonna let the camera do the talking for a bit so I'll shut up. See, there's more than meets the eye. Just like me, handsome chap as I am, a big heart. I love actually looking after my clients, so important. Uh, that's, what, that's why I do this job, to help people move and uh, to do the very best for them. So there's the rear, that's the porch. Nice little lawned area, nicely enclosed. You can see the sun is out. And I'm just gonna tell you the time. So it's three o'clock today. And the sun is just there above us. So it's certainly in that, this rear garden at three o'clock. Come through here. Patio again. And look at this fish pond. I mean, I've seen some koi carp in my time, but you'll see them popping their heads out. Let's have a look at these fellas. Because anybody that buys this property, the owners would like these fish to stay because they can't house them anywhere and they are beautiful, magnificent fishies, definitely well looked after, definitely hungry, and there's quite a few of them in there. And I just thought I'd show that off. Come on, why don't you all come out to play? Say hello to Nigel at Lock and Key today. <laughs> but they are some beauties. So if there are some fish lovers, animal lovers, wanna keep an eye on this um, and look after the, hello you, come on, out you come. Size of him. They're as stocky as me, really, aren't they? Hey? So yeah, the owner's quite happy to show you how to use the fish, the pumps and everything. They can talk about that through with you, more than happy to give you the instructions. But these fish must stay, um, and they'd like that to happen if they can. You can see there's a nice big shed, and the garden keeps going again. I'm just gonna show you this attractive seating area. Isn't that cute? Lovely tree with it, giving you some shading. And there above, you can see those veluxes that we had been in earlier to this property. Beautiful. <laughs> Just gonna sit up again. <laughs> There's actually quite a few more fish in there we haven't seen yet. And again, we got little areas, attractive. You can have plants, gardening you can do. You can make a little workshop out here if you wanted to. And it carries on. There's a bit more here. Keep all your bits and pieces, plant pots. Put the camera over there. Again, little veggie area. Another little water feature in there. Really, really, really attractive. Love it, actually. And so I guess that's it in a nutshell. 44 Little John Avenue. I really hope you've enjoyed the tour, guys. I've enjoyed doing this property. I love these clients to bits. And it's lovely to see them again after the, uh, so many years. When I first met them, um, my number, as you know, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents. It's 01225 707342. I really hope I hear from you. It's not going to be on the market long, so if you are interested, give me a nudge straight away. Look forward to hearing from you, and let's enjoy the rest of this day and the sunshine.